Hello everybody, Ranger John here and here from Huntsville State Park and today I want to help you out with some starter tips to birding. This is a great outdoor recreation activity you can only do here in Huntsville but in many of our parks because with many of our different e ecosystems and wildlife you can find birds of different varieties throughout our park system. Now here we have about 250 species of birds that can be found. I often find uh, the Affiliated woodpecker out here, find the red shoulder hawk, we can find herons and egrets in the water, vultures around the day use area first thing in the morning, but many other birds that migrate through. And so if you're just getting into this activity, I want to share with you two helpful tips to get you started. So one of the first tips to teach you is to practice using your binoculars. Now we could probably do an entire program on the different types of binoculars that are out there, what these numbers on them mean, and the quality difference between a $100 pair and a $1,000 pair. But it really doesn't matter how nice of binoculars you have if you don't know how to properly use them. One pro tip I can give you is that a lot of binoculars, they'll have one solid eyepiece, the other one can rotate. So if you're someone like me who has astigmatism, where both eyes, where my eyes are a little different from each other, I can adjust these binoculars so I can see clearly through them without my glasses on. However, if somebody wants to borrow your binoculars, you might mark where that is or at least let them know because I've given my binoculars out to a lot of people and they come back to me adjusted to them, which means I have to refix them back for my eyes. So one of the earlier skills you want to work on with your binoculars is being able to spot things with the binoculars. So a lot of times you'll be staring just with your naked eyes, you'll locate a bird and you want to be able to find that bird quickly with your binoculars because they won't sit still for long and so you have a brief window in which you can observe the bird and positively identify it. So one of the ways to practice this is you can find an object. I see some signs on the other side of the spillway there. I'll focus on them, bring my binoculars up, and locate them. I'll then do that around the area. I've got some logs on the other side of the water. I'll focus on them, binoculars up, and found. I see a birdhouse. I'll focus on it, binoculars up, found. And so you want to practice that so you get quicker and quicker and more comfortable at it. And so when they, you see that prized bird come around, you're not spending time. What? Wait. Huh? No, that's not it. Looking for it when it's already flown off away from you. So the second tip I want to give you if you're just starting out birding and what you need to invest in is to find yourself a helpful bird guide. Now there are many different types of bird guides out there and I find that even among birders there are preferences. So if you have a friend or a group you hope to connect with, I would say reach out to them and see what guides they use because then they'll be able to help you better with your guide. It's always good to just like practicing with your binoculars, you practice with these as well. Because a lot of times you want to learn where the sections are. They'll have it divided up by geese and swans, Ian head forward to pelicans, birds of prey, shorebirds, and so being able to find those sections quickly can help you. It also helps that a lot of them will have photos identifying the males and females, and in particular what certain areas you're looking for. And even some of them will describe it and even give you their flight pattern as well. So all this can be helpful information and again this is a skill you can practice so you can get quicker to identify the birds and start paying attention to those details on the birds bodies and the colors that you're looking for. Oh wow that is really cool. I hope you all enjoyed that. Again, these are just helpful tips to get you started. And as I said, they're just going to take practice, practice, practice. And of course, there's no better place to practice these tips than out here at Huntsville State Park. Or again, any Texas Parks and Wildlife Park can be a great place to practice your birding, get better, connect with birding groups that can also help you out in developing this skill and enjoying the recreation. Y'all take care. And remember, life is better outside. Oh, what's making that noise?